Have you ever installed Power Apps on your Windows computer? And do you know the capability of what Windows Power Apps offers you? Today we are going to talk about Power Apps on Windows. And to present this session with us today, we have our industry expert, Mr. Tristan Deho, with us. Hi, Tristan. Hi, Rubin. How, you How doing are today? you? I am absolutely well. How about you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Yes, and first of all, congratulations for GA for Power Apps on Windows. It's uh, two months back, like it is in preview, amazing feature over there, and now it's in GA. That's amazing. Yes, I'm, I'm very exciting uh, to be here with you uh, today. Um, I'm as well uh, very happy to announce that we just released uh, in general availability a new uh, perhaps application for Windows. Uh, this uh, couldn't have been done uh, without the feedback we've received from the community. So yes. thank you for absolutely. that. Absolutely, absolutely. So before we move forward, let me just give some little bit introduction about Tristan. Uh, Tristan is from Paris and currently he's working at Microsoft. He's been a part of Microsoft since last 11 plus years and currently he's working as a senior program manager. So uh, I will share Tristan's LinkedIn address along with its Twitter account in the description box. Also, the link for the GA block is also available in the description box. So do check it out and share your feedback with us. So now let's get started with Power Apps on Windows. So let me just ask a couple of questions to sure. Tristan. So the very first question Tristan I have about Power Apps on Windows is why Power Apps on Windows? and what are some cool features which it offers? Yeah, sure. So uh, um, in the past months, uh, we've been hearing from more and more uh, customers uh, the need to deploy their apps to their employees uh, who are working in the field uh, on Windows laptops and, uh, and tablets. Uh, these apps uh, need to uh, keep working when users are not connected to the, to the network so that employees uh, can do their jobs where they are and sync their data when they get back to the office. Uh, the major benefits of Power Apps on Windows is really to enable native uh, device capabilities uh, like uh, offline, uh, camera, barcode scanner, and uh, many others. Uh, it is also to provide a more secured uh, device management uh, with the support of Intune, uh, the native Windows authentication layer, and uh, the kiosk mode. And last but not least, uh, it provides a more Windows OS integrated experiences uh, with the start menu, pin to start on the Windows search, uh, just to name a few. Yeah, that's amazing. Now I have one more question. Like, uh, let's say currently this Power Apps on Windows is in GA. So what happens if someone is already using that Power Apps of a Windows application on their Windows 8 computer, or let's say they are using into their latest Windows computer, what's going to happen with it? Yeah, so uh, first uh, for uh, users uh, already using the uh, the public preview application, uh, there's nothing to do with the app will be automatically uh, updated uh, and you will see uh, it renamed as per apps uh, on your device. For users using uh, the old or legacy uh, application, uh, uh, the application will be uh, renamed as Power Apps for Windows 8. It's going to be automatic. Uh, and uh, we're going to announce uh, the deprecation of uh, this app in the coming days. And uh, uh, they will just have to go into the Microsoft Store, search for Power Apps, and uh, install it in one or two clicks. Okay. Just it. Nothing more to do. That's amazing. That's amazing. All right. So uh, now I just wanted to ask you, like, is there any uh, real life use cases that you can show us to our end user that how based Power Apps on Windows fits based for the real life examples and use cases? Yeah, sure. So uh, uh, a core, a core and key scenario with uh, <clears throat> uh, hearing from 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 customers is uh, to do some inspection in the field uh, where you can capture uh, your data and uh, pictures, take picture directly when working in uh, remote locations. So that's uh, one key uh, scenario. Another one is uh, with the, the pandemic, uh, we've seen that using barcode is a, a great and easy way to reconnect data from different uh, from different systems. 
And last, uh, we also have some customers who need to build a device that is scoped to uh, a dedicated app uh, that can be shared by multiple users. Uh, uh, and to register people in an office lobby, for example, or uh, get feedback from customer uh, with the custom survey application. Mm -hmm. Great. So a great set of use cases where we can leverage this functionality. Specifically, I love the feature about the offline capability for power apps on Windows because it's a much useful feature. I believe like we can connect uh, uh, data sources like uh, Dataverse and, you know, use the native camera control. Even if it work offline, that's a uh, great. And with save data, load data functions, we can easily achieve this capability. So uh, Tristan, if you can just showcase us the one of the uh, use case that you just spoke about, uh, it would be great to see the demo on that. Yeah, my pleasure. So let me show my screen. So uh, I'm going to uh, run a, a video a recording because it's offline capabilities, so uh, we cannot make it live. So um, let's get started here. Um, so on my desktop, I have access now to Power Apps. I installed it previously. I can see both Canvas and Model Driven Apps in my app list. Now I'm launching the uh, my Canvas My Contacts app. Uh, here, this is the data that is coming from uh, from Dataverse. So I'm using the native Dataverse API, and I'm going to use load data and save data functions for uh, the uh, offline uh, capabilities. So here, I'm offline. I'm disconnected, and I can still access. Uh, the, the the data uh, of my contact, and I can also create a new contact. So I'm going to create Druvin Shah, uh, who is a, a famous MVP. I'm going to use the barcode scanner to uh, populate the email address with uh, a barcode that I've generated. And I can also uh, change the picture using the camera control. I can either pick a picture from my, my PC or from the camera directly. Now reconnect uh, from uh, to the network and uh, I'm going to click on the refresh button to uh, reconciliate the data with the server. And now uh, you will see that Druvin Shah is now part of my contacts. Oh. So here I've been able to showcase the offline capability, which, which is really key uh, uh, for for Windows, uh, for devices. I've also uh, showcased some device capabilities, just a few, but barcode scanner and camera. There are many others. You can use location, you can use uh, AI builder, and so many others. Mm -hmm. That's great. So this really helped. Like we have used the data versus a native connector, and then we created a contact offline. And when the internet connectivity is back, that record is synced up with my data verse again, and it show up again here. So that's amazing. And any one of you, like if you are keen to know that how to create offline capable app, I created a dedicated video on that. You can just visit that for offline capability of this app. Basically, Tristan has used a function save data and load data over here. So for more information, you can visit my another video. So uh, we checked the different feature of uh, Power Apps on Windows. So um, what's next uh, uh, coming up uh, as a part of enhancement or improvement of our Power Apps on Windows? Yeah, sure. So uh, this is really just the beginning. Uh, we just uh, GA the application. Uh, we've been really focusing on a Canvas and model driven app uh, capabilities, uh, but there is much more to do on the uh, app list experience, uh, for example, with uh, recent and favorites and uh, the OS integration with Spin to Start, uh, for example. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, we will keep, uh, you will keep seeing the app getting uh, better and better. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously, like uh, uh, you can see the blog post link in the description box. So share your thoughts as well. Like, how do you like this feature? And share your use case as well with us in the comment section that with offline capability of Power Apps, what do you want to achieve? And if you find any limitation or if you are expecting some features moving forward in the future, feel free to add that in the comment section. We will happy to hear from you. And uh, I'll convey that message to Tristan as well in the future. So, uh, 
uh, thanks a lot, Tristan, for sharing this amazing uh, Power Apps for Windows capability because uh, this is the feature which is rolled out from April uh, as a preview, as a part of preview in April, and now it's in GA. So, uh, very uh, good feature uh, from the Microsoft uh, during this month as a part of GA. I am personally really love this feature and I built many offline capable app which solves the business and which resolves the business problem specifically that barcode part and the another is offline capability. So yeah, thank you so much for sharing your things with me over here on this call. Thank you very much Adreen, for inviting me here. Yeah, definitely. And we will happy to hear uh, more and more new feature from you and your team and we'll connect again when something new will be rolling out into this feature. You can count on me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So with this, I think we are good for Power Apps on Windows feature. Uh, if you guys have any question, feel free to add in the comment section. And if you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me. With this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.